Hi, I'm Nick, and we're going to talk about how to work with Adobe Stock inside of Premiere Pro. In order to access Adobe Stock, what we're going to do is head over to our library's workspace. My library window shows up here on the right-hand side, and if you're unfamiliar with libraries, you want to know that you can actually save Photoshop or Illustrator assets and access them in programs like Premiere Pro or even Adobe After Effects. What I'm going to do is make sure that underneath this little arrow menu, that I'm performing a search currently in Adobe Stock rather than my current library. For this instance, I'll do a search and type in the word farm, and we'll see that I get various results, mostly of still images of farms across the country. If I click on this little downward arrow, I want to minimize my search results to only search for video clips. Now I can hover scrub over these clips and see little previews of the various content from those forms. If I'd like, I can choose to click on the cloud icon and that's going to save a preview to my current selected library. In a few seconds, that will be accessible in the library. And from that, I can then drag it into a Premiere Pro project after selecting it as a 4K clip. At the very bottom of the library, I can now see that clip. I'm going to select it and drag it directly into my Premiere Pro project panel. Once I do, a progress window or panel will show up and save it over here to the project for me to access. The best part is if I head back to the bin where my Adobe stock clips are saved, and if I click on the shopping icon, what I'll do is have an access to purchase this clip. And if I had references of it in my Premiere Pro timeline, it would just switch out the Adobe Stock watermarked version with the actual paid version, allowing me to work seamlessly through my editing process. And that's how easy it is to work with Adobe Stock inside of Premiere Pro. For more tips, click on the link above. <music>